So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. This is a very unmasked for this slide, and today we will be solving our 46th day problem of the day, and this name is LCS of three string. Okay, we have already practiced LCS of two strings. Now we are going to practice LCS of three strings. So for those of you who do not know what is the meaning of LCS, LCS means longest common subsequence that is find the sequence of longest length which is a subsequence for a as well as for b as well as for c so, for example in this question if you see a subsequence which is common for a b and c is uh, s is also a common subsequence k s is also a common subsequence e, e k s is also a common subsequence and the longest common subsequence is geeks so if you see geeks is the longest common subsequence, uh, we just have to return the uh, length of the longest common subsequence. So what is the length? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our answer would be 5 for this case. Hope you have understood what is the input. Input is 3 strings with their length. And what is the output? Length of longest common subsequence. Hope you are clear with that. So let's move forward. So before understanding LCS of three strings, we have to understand LCS of two strings. For example, the two strings given to you are A G G P A G G P H G. Okay. So for reference, let us find out what is the answer for this one. If you figure out, it is written G T X G. Okay. Can I find an X? No. But G T. If I uh, if I take this G with this T and with this B. The subsequence will be G T B, and it will be the longer subsequence present here. Okay, so answer will be G T B. That will be three. So how can I calculate using it uh, using an algorithm? If you understand it well, for two, three, third, uh, extending it to a uh, finding for three it will be very easy. Now in the algorithm, what you will do? Suppose a G G T A G right and G T X D. It can be the case when you're starting from the start. If you're starting from left to right, right? It can be the case that you have to leave A for the longer common subsequence. You have to leave G, you have to leave G. But if I is here, that is the pointer for the string one is here, and pointer for the string two is here. Okay, there can be two cases that is. Uh, S1 i equals to equals to S2 i S2 j or S1 i is not equals to S2 j. Okay, if it is equal, remember we are standing at the last position of the current uh, current strings. So if I S1 i S1 i equals to equals to S2 j, then this character will be included in the LCS, correct? If S1 i equals to equals to S2 j, this character can, will, will be included in the subsequence. For that case, what you have to do? 1 plus i minus 1 and j minus 1. Like move your indexes here and here and then that way. But if they are not equal, then there can be two cases. Suppose my i is here and my j is here after b, b is included. So I have, do not have to include x, I do not have include a so it might be the case that i have to include a i have to include x so what i can do it will be s1 of i minus 1 with s2 of j that is make two recursive cases go to i minus 1 j and i with j minus 1 okay and return the maximum of these two all right. So, if you draw the recursion tree for this case, what we are doing is we're starting from the last right. So it will be a b g t a b with g t x b, right? So b and b are same. So what do you have to do? Move to subsequent case with adding one, right? It will be 
A G G T A G T X. A and X are not equal, so it will be either choose A that is A G G T or with whole string G T X or don't choose A choose X A G G T A G T. Right? Okay. Now this T and X are again not equal, so it will move to again two cases, either removing T or either removing X. Similarly for this case, removing A or removing T. So A G G T with G T and A G G T A with G. Right? Again, G is not equal to A, so again two cases either removing this A G G T with G and A G G T A with empty string. And whenever I reach empty string, there is no such sequence that I can find, so return zero. Okay, this will return zero, and this will again break into an empty. It will return zero only and a g g a g g with g okay but g and g are equal now so it will return to one with a g empty a g empty empty will return zero but it will be it is adding only one so one from here returning one returning one one and zero max is one so return one here okay now with this one T, T. So it will reduce to A G G G with one added. And then again A G with M T one added. So one here, one here, that is one plus one, two here. It will run two comma one. So it will be running two two here. Okay. Alright. Now we have to draw the equation circuit for this. Now you can see that A G G G T has already been occurred with us. A G G G T is here. So A G G T is returning 2. So it will also return 2. I'm not drawing the whole circuit. I'm just showing you that overlapping problems are existing. Overlapping problems. And we know whenever we are uh, in for the overlapping problems, we take the help of dynamic programming. That is your memoir the problem. I may, you make a solution in Debian. Okay. Similarly for this A G G G T X. Okay. Now with A G G T X or A G D G T. Again, this will reduce to A G with G A G with G T or A G G with G. Okay. This will be giving me one because G G A common and it will be an empty string and again I have to break this one. A G with G T. So A G with G T will be A G with G or A G with or A with G T right. A with G T will return to empty string, it will return in zero, zero here. Okay. But A G G one, right? So it will be returning one. Both of them are returning one, so one and one max is one, so return one here. And in terms of AGGTX, AGGTX, it will reduce to AGGTX or AG with GTX, AG with GT. Now AG with GT is returning one, so return one here. And A with GTX, no subsequence, return to empty string uh, with A this, so return zero. Return zero. Now zero and one max. One, one and two max. Two, two and two max. Two, two and uh, two plus one three. Okay, so it will be running three. So answer is three. And as we discussed, our answer was G T D, which is answer as D. Okay. So we are able to find that our algorithm is working fine. So let us draw the pseudo code for it. I hope you are clear with the recursion tree. Okay, the pseudo code. Now I will be writing pseudo code for three problems. Okay, 
and try to understand what I am writing, what I am, what I will be writing. Okay, so I will be taking LPS of S1, S2, S3 with the position and fifth and one. So let us make it I J K. Initial values of I are n1 minus 1, j is n2 minus 1, and k is n3 minus 1. Okay. Now, if either i is less than 0 or j is less than 0 or k is less than 0, that is the length of the string has become less than, length of the string has become 0. In that case, return 0. All right. Now, if S1 I equals to equals to S2 J equals to equals to S2 K. In that case, return LCS for S1, S2, S3 with I minus 1, J minus 1, K minus 1. Okay. Else return. Max of S1, S2, S3 with I minus 1 and J and K are same. Okay. Otherwise, take this is my one case. Another case will be I with J minus 1 and K. And another case will be I with J with K minus 1. So, in the case of two strings, what we were doing is we were taking only i and j. So, it was i minus 1 with j and j minus 1 with k. When it comes to three strings, the condition above condition just adds s3k and the below condition adds one case if i, j, and k minus. Only these are the changes for LCS of three strings. And I can see that you can figure it out easily in this much intelligent you are. Okay. So, we will be using dp also here. And dp will be adding a step here at the time of return, a step here at the time of return, and a, <clears throat> a step here at the time of seeing if it is actually been solved before. Okay, so let's just code it down real fast. The today's problem was fairly easy for those of you who know about LCS of two strings. Okay, I've tried my best to explain you the LCS of two strings. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe my channel. It's a fair request. So for dp, let's make an array here. Int dp. What would be the size? So if I check the constraint for the problem, I see that n1, n2, n3 are actually greater than equal to 20. So let's make a size of 21. 21, 21, 21. 21 to handle i, 21 to handle j, and 21 to handle k. Okay. Let us make all those cells as minus 1 for int i equals to 0. i less than. <coughs> I less than n1 plus 1. I less than n less than equals to n1. I plus plus. And it will be 0 here. Then for n j equals to 0. J less than equals to n2. J plus plus. Then for n k equals to 0. K less than equals to n3. K plus plus dp of i and j and k is equals to minus 1. All right. Okay. Now, return. Solve for a with b with c. Now, n1 will be n1 minus 1, n2 minus 1. The last index will be n3 minus 1, right? Last index is n, n minus 1, right? So, frequently we have written. We just simply implement a solve function. So a solve is running in in solve. We are taking string A with string B with string C, right? Now and their indexes also. So in i j k in i. In j in k. Now, if i is less than 0 or j is less than 0 or k is less than 0, in that case, 
your tongue okay i will say my dp array only contains my question answer dp ijk is not equals to minus one in that case you're done dp i j k okay if my a is i is equals to equals to my b is j and which both of them are equals to c k in that case return dp of i j k equals to one plus solve for a with b with c and i minus one j minus one k minus one right else i done dp of i with j with k equals to max of now i'm just popping it down because a b and c a i just have to change some minus ones so i either take i as minus one or take g as minus one and you can also take k as minus one so these are the only cases only three cases right and just to store answer in dpi dp so i think it will work let's try to combine them Meanwhile, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. And there has been a comparison. Let's see why. Oh, it has been run and by mistake. It is n1. Sorry for my having mistake. And please subscribe to my channel. As I was saying, it means a lot to me. It gives yes, me a lot of motivation. So it is working fine for my file then. Let's try to submit also. And I hope you have liked the video already. So you can see we have completely got today's streak and our current streak is 46 days. So we will meet tomorrow till then. Please keep coding and stay safe. Thank you. Have a nice day.